What's going on guys, it's the Bourbon Hunter. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm out here at Dev's Liquors. They have some really cool stuff from what I heard. At the beginning of every month in South Carolina, we get a new drop. So let's go see if they have anything interesting. Last time I was here, I got a Midwinter's Nice Dram. So let's go see if they have anything worthwhile for me to pick up this afternoon. On with the hunt. Here at Dev Liquors again, and he's got his Woodford Reserve store pick. That I got to try and I really enjoyed it, but this is a liter actually, so pretty good deal. 50 bucks for a liter of... Woodford Reserve is, they don't do single barrel picks. They only do two barrel blends. The regular is mash blend, you know, a lot of different flavors, but this, to specify with the blend, we did a 60-40 blend between two barrels. One of our best pick, we are doing another Woodford, but it's gonna be a double oak, blending end of the year. And the Yellowstone store pick, at 102 proof. Now, if you don't remember, Dev's Liquors is the one that helped with our Antique 107 giveaway. Big shout out to him for helping us get that bottle. And these, which I've heard a couple people came in and got some, I highly recommend it. Drew and I love this bottle for $44.99, 112 proof. North Carolina made bourbon is fantastic. 63.99. It's a part of. Charleston Bourbon Group on Facebook and Dave Liquor's collab pick. This is the second pick we've done. Uh, the first pick was the Yellowstone. This is almost 10 year age barrel. Uh, Knob Creek doesn't go over nine years and nine months over. So if they go past that barrel, they'll save it for either 12 year or 18 year, 15 year, whatever. But this, we were able to get this past 9.9. .9. Oh wow. So almost 10 year age bourbon, 120 proof. He still has a couple of these J. Riger 127.5 proof vermouth finished bottles as well. I did get to try it. It sips much lower than 127 proof and it's super interesting too. With the vermouth finish, it's got a very unique flavor on it. Uh, I would recommend grabbing one if you don't have something cool to share on your bar. I told y'all to keep an eye out on these four roses right here, these single barrels. For the floor number, it's floor number 6U is some of the best single barrels from Four Roses you can get. And it all depends on the floors four through six is what I've had that I've experienced the best flavor from. $50 for that is an absolute steal. I got something that came in yesterday. yesterday. You stay classy. Oh man, OESQ. Yeah, I got, I got one of those at the house. It is phenomenal. Floor three. Still good. Look at the proof though. The proof is so much better than some of the other ones I've seen. Yeah. What's the side sticker say? 10 year, 10 year 11, 11 month. Wow. With a 20% rye mash bill. I bet that is phenomenal. Yep. You got, got five, five bottles left. Nice. How much are you charging for these off the top of your head? $85.99. OESQ floral, rose petal, banana, refreshing, medium body. Interesting. And this one's different. This one's the OESO nine year 55 and on the second floor of rickhouse r 55 percent nine years six months single barrel same price for all these i have yet to actually hold one of these in my hand a single barrel eh taylor for you eh taylor fans out there this is apparently the one to get now you mind Let's open it up for me oh man I love that color on the bottle though. It looks great. I really do. So I think there's different batch numbers for Russell's yes. 13. Which one is I think this? it's in the back. Check it out. Ah! Oh, right here. This one is LLLC290712. 2023-0329 bottle. Should be a little bit easier to find than that. And Check this guy out. This is what a lot of people are looking Lee. for. A little tater juice for y'all. Yep. A little Elmer T. Lee. Single barrel sour mash. A couple years ago, this thing was sitting all over the world. These guys are fetching lots of money on the secondary market for no reason really, because I mean, it's made by Buffalo Trace, but in all reality, it's just a, another single barrel sour mash from them, so. That's the yeah. first time I've ever held one of those, and this is certainly the first time I've ever seen a E.H. Taylor single barrel on the shelf. Super stoked about seeing that here. And of course, the Buffalo Trace and Weller are all at reasonable prices. And look at these bad boys. The 19 year old Fitz bottled and bond. 
This is one that goes for thousands of dollars on the secondary market. So that's insane to see just sitting out here on the shelf. Parker's Heritage, 10 year. I've never had a Parker's Heritage ride, but I assume they're pretty good. And of course, all the other great stuff that you can get here. You got, he's got Knob Creek 12 here. A little Knob Creek 12. Everybody's like, oh, you always talk about Knob Creeks in your videos. Yeah, because this one is really, really good. I would pick 12 over 15 all day long. Really? Yeah. And of course, the store pick. So the old Ezra 7s I've been seeing floating around. If you've ever had that before, let me know if it's worth picking up. That's 117 proof seven year. I assume that's probably a pretty good bottle. These are about going prices around town for the Willet eight year. An old Fitz, bottle and bond, 19 year. I heard these are phenomenal, but they are extremely expensive no matter where you go. They're always fetching a high dollar for these, but it's a really cool bottle and I heard a lot of people say good things about it, especially if you're interested in making it into a decanter for an infinity bottle afterwards. Somehow I was able to get some of this stuff. Wow, man. I remember and when I first came here, I got a bottle of Midwinter's Nice Dreams. Midwinter Dreams, well. yeah. Yeah. This year is supposed to come anytime now, a couple weeks. We and should get it in. Interesting. Awesome. Look at all this. Heaven's Door, 10 year. Check that out. If you haven't picked up one of these yet, I, I get a lot of questions saying, hey, I'm new to bourbon, what should I get? If you can find these in your state or where you're at, these are phenomenal. It's a seven year old, bottled in bond. Really, really good for the price from Heaven Hill, obviously. So I would recommend that. I've not tried any of these over here, these three, but I have tried these. And I think the 10 year is pretty good, but the Dark Rye was one of my favorites just for the price. It's a great bottle to pick up. Now I have not tried either of these, and this one's new, so if you've had that, let me know. The wine port barrels, they're gonna enjoy this red wine. Okay. Catch finish. Interesting, I've never seen this before. Really weird bottle though. I guess when you buy it, you can get a chance to try the uh, stuff before you actually open the bottle maybe. Or a little sneaky pour. Also we have from Conviction, their finished experiments that they're doing with all the cognac, Oloroso, uh, I'm not even gonna pronounce that or that because I got made fun of last time. But they also have their White Dog Sour Mash at 130 proof, 104 proof, 100 proof, and let's see, 101, and this one is 102. So really cool from Conviction that they're doing some experimenting with this stuff. Super cool to see even another white dog on the shelf. So if you're interested in this Conviction local brand, check them out. That was a great hunt, guys. We all probably like, Hunter, what the heck did you buy, man? So I get it, I get it. I had a weak moment, okay? I paid $300 for this. That was a mistake. But around here, we don't see Russell's 13 hardly at all. And when I saw it, $300 out the door for it was not a bad decision, even though I'm kind of regretting not grabbing that E.H. Taylor single barrel. It's okay because I don't resell bottles. I don't do anything like that. I actually just enjoy whiskey because whiskey is meant to be drank. So consider joining the Patreon, consider supporting the channel, and as always, join the Discord. We're having a great time. A lot of local guys are talking about drops coming up for this cool allocation season we have this year. And as always, Bourbon Hunter, out. <laughs>